Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you all for coming tonight. I know this, uh, the weather is difficult down here. Um, I'd like to thank, first and foremost, my mother, who's here this evening, and my father um, for their support, their encouragement, their guidance, and their love. Basketball wasn't the most popular sport at our home, um, but they did everything possible to make it uh, possible that I could play as much as possible. We didn't, uh, there was no basketball courts in the area, in the neighborhood, the gym at the local park didn't have a basketball home, they didn't even have an outdoor court. So uh, my dad kind of uh, rigged up a wooden uh, support on the telephone pole in the alley and uh, got a backboard, put some hooks on the back of it, and uh, my job every time I wanted to play was to roll over the metal garbage can and climb up the top and hook it up on there and I got to play in the alley. One of the stipulations was every time I got done playing, I had to take it back down and spill it away. He was afraid that somebody from the neighborhood would come by, jump up, grab the rim, and break it. For those of you that know me and my leaping ability, he wasn't afraid that I was going to do it. <laughs> so we used to play out there all the time. Uh, my brothers played out there all the time. My friends from the neighborhood, especially Marty Durkin, guy down the block, we used to play all the time, and he used to beat me all the time. Not anymore. <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank my brothers, Tim, John, Tom, and Chris. They're here tonight. Thank you for making the trip down here and all your support, uh, especially during high school. College, Tim and John drove me down here one time, uh, dropped me off here, but that's a different story. I won't get into that. <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank my cousin, Kevin Ebert, for coming all the way from L.A. today. He used to come and watch me play all the time in high school and supported me very much in, in the recent times. Uh, I love the game of basketball. I played it all the time. Uh, it's been very good to me. Through basketball, I was able to get an education. Uh, I got to make a living for a long, long time doing the thing I really love. And uh, if you want to go that way in a roundabout way, it brought me to my two most special treasures, which are my daughters, Emily and Kate. Um, I'd like to thank my teammates um, in high school uh, who had a lot of confidence in me. I didn't play a whole lot in high school. I was, uh, Shockingly, the tallest person on the team, so they kind of threw me out there, so I got to play and developed into a decent player, I guess. Um, I'd really like to thank my, th my teammates here at Christian Brothers. Basketball is a team game. Uh, even though this award is uh, considered an individual accomplishment, uh, you can't do anything in basketball if you don't have a team. Uh, so I'd like to thank them, especially uh, a few players that are here tonight. Pat O'Keefe made the journey, thank you very much. Mark Craven made the journey, thank you very much. Uh, Thank you a few other guys. Gene Walsh played a lot. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, uh, Daryl Spencer, Rick Reed, Phil Haney, Bill Clements. All these guys contributed to my success uh, and to the su success of that team. I think we really were a good team. Uh, I'd really uh, like to thank Jim Colleen for your support and your friendship those four years here together. That was the time. Uh, and especially for your friendship now. Um, I remember back in high school, in college, actually, uh, I wasn't a bad player, I guess, but uh, to make it to, a, to take it to a different level, you need certain encouragement. Everybody needs encouragement. Everyone has it aha moment. And I remember my junior year, beginning of the year, someone walked up to me, a teammate, and said, "If you want to be good, if you want to be the best you can be, you have to be an All-American in practice every day." Thank you, Ed. It means a lot to me. Uh, also, the supporters here. No one talks about the supporters or the fans here. You know, that support you every day. Paul, Laura, Lisa, you guys are here all the time cheering us on. It meant a lot to every one of us. And I'm sure it meant a lot to all of the fans. Uh, I'd like to have a special thanks to Coach Nagsberg for recruiting me to Christian Brothers. Uh, special thanks to Coach Stevenson. You're always so positive here around campus, even in the toughest times. Uh, I'd like to thank the athletic trainer, especially Gene Bailey, who, uh, whether we liked it or not, kept sticking the foot back in the ice, get you ready to play. Uh, I'd like to tell a little story. Coach Nagsburg came to me one year, uh, actually the year he was recruiting me up in Chicago. He came up there and he spoke to me about a basketball tradition. Uh, they had some good years at Christian Brothers, but he was looking to install some sort of a tradition here and try to get things uh, going positively. Um, that kind of stuck into my mind. Another thing he talked about was he thought that I'd be able to get some playing time. And I saw some other people that graduated ahead of me in high school, didn't play a lot, and I really was 
chopping it to bid up on the play as much as possible. So he uh, gave me a chance to come down here, take a look at the school, see what I like about it or what I dislike if that was possible. So I did it. When I got here, I found out that although Christian Brothers wasn't a very large school, it ran deep. It ran deep academically. I came down here, and I remember I talked to people here uh, telling me about the academic challenges they faced every day, even the athletes. Um, the, uh, the other thing they told me about is that, especially some alumni, and I talked to some of the alumni that were here at the local establishment one evening, and they talked about how CBC kind of prepared them for life after school, and after athletics. And that impressed me as well. Um, you know, I look back at that team in 1985, if you just want to look at a, a, part, a point in time. I look at that team, and not only did we have a very good team bas basketball-wise, but you had, if you look at it now, you had doctors on that team, you have engineers on that team, you have successful coaches, business leaders, and that's a true measure, measure of a university is what they do and for the people as far as getting them ready for life. And I'm very proud and honored to be a part of that. I found out that Christian Brothers also ran deep culturally. I mean, there's a lot of international students on campus. We, we realized that at the time. It was uh, also appealing for me coming from Chicago, Memphis. It's a little different. I, I'd never been down here before, so uh, Southern Hospitality kind of made me feel welcome. Uh, I know we had some talks that evening with some of the people that were here, uh, and uh, I really, really felt welcome from the get-go. Um, and also, as I reluctantly found out, it runs deep socially. Um, the social aspect back was an important part of campus life. Uh, people that I met there, uh, even though I didn't stay in Memphis after I graduated, they're, they're friends for life. You know, that's, that's very important to me. Um, there's many people who thanks for this award. It's not an individual award in my opinion whatsoever. So I'd like to thank you very much for this award and have a good evening.